Live from Toronto, Canada, it's theCUBE, covering Blockchain Futurist Conference 2018. Brought to you by theCUBE. Hey, welcome back everyone. This is theCUBE Live, day two coverage. We're going to so much content, hardcore. We're losing our boys, so much content. I'm John Furrier, your host. We've got two great guests here out of a hot startup called MetaLife. They're making a browser that's going to change the game, bring a crypto vibe to it, but more than that, Ben Tran, the CEO, and Samir Perini, the CMO, uh, MetaLife. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you. Thank you, John. Thank you for having us. So we are the hush hush in Puerto Rico. We're talking, you know, like, I love browsers. I remember the browser wars. Netscape, Microsoft, lived through those. DNS, powers web pages. <laughs> we know the history. Brave browser comes along. Yeah. They put MetaMask in, it's out, it's in. <laughs> There's never been a modern browser out, out there since DNS. Brave and BatToken tried. Mm -hmm. They're doing something. Yes. They had blocker check. Yes. Everyone wants that. Yep. Yes. But is that modern? Tell us what's the news. Tell us the story. Yeah, so as you mentioned, we met, met, met some time ago, and when we first spoke about it, uh, the product, I kind of shared some of the vision with you guys. So the fundamentally, what we've done is uh, we, we created the browser experience, and we started from scratch. So traditional browsers are based on the Netscape model, which is about 25 plus years old at this point. So what we did is that we took that idea, threw it out the window, and recreated it based on a human-centric approach which is what we believe is the next phase of, of the generation of the web is Web 3.0. So we are trying to create a browser that is the bridge between Web 2.0 to Web 3.0. Yep. So one of the first things that we did is that we looked at it on a human user-based experience. What do our users want and what's the most relevant information that they need? Yep. So we've, we have a, we've redesigned that entire experience. We have a patent on something called a board technology which allows users to act, get access to information in a much faster way. Each time a user logs in, that experience is customized for them. We have ad blocks like Brave. We've had a very fast processor that is faster than most browsers today. But we've built so many more features and have had created a very flexible platform that allows the capacity for so many variant partners to plug into our system and, and, and build what they want from it. Just developer friendly. It's developer friendly, but it's user friendly. Because we know that as our users, we don't own our users. Our users own, have the flexibility to do whatever they want. And the user to. wants to own their data too, right? Yes. I mean, yes. this is what tokens are great for, right? And you can, if I can browse the internet and own my data, yeah. I can broker my data through the, my interactions. I mean, sorry. Yeah, I mean, constantly we're getting uh, notifications from news outlets. Someone's getting leaked, something's hacked. It's like daily, it's constant. Well, take ownership of that. Stop using their products. If you feel your, your ownership's compromised, stop using it. We'll, we'll, we're going to have official release in the next two weeks or so, and you'll control the ownership of your data. So it's going to be private secure. Nothing is going to be centralized on a centralized server. It's going to be fully private with the ad blocker built in. All right, all so I'll well. play devil's advocate, not yeah. to put you on the spot, but hey, security, I don't, I don't believe you. A startup, no way a startup could do this. How do you answer the security question? Well, this is, this is a product that we have been working on for the past three years. Uh, our team is extremely qualified to, to produce this. Uh, security is something that we take very closely. We have an internal security uh, person that is responsible for the, the product itself. And we're also aligning ourselves with the right team and the right partnerships. So for example, we're getting Hosho to do our audit for a smart contract. We're working with companies like MetaCert to actually, he's been in the security space yeah. for the past 20 plus years, and now they're making our product more secure a, as a browser. Uh, we're talking to another company that's doing a VPN shell. So our product is... is it's architected differently. It's, it's like the a different entire animal. theory behind yeah. it is, is very different than what's existing today. Ben, talk about the company. ICO, you guys do an ICO, you raise money, are you raising money? What's the status of the company? Yeah, so right now we're just uh, finishing off the first round of our uh, investment, so we raised close to $5 million in equity plus tokens. Uh, we're going to be moving to the next like phase. Like normal equity, like preferred Very, stock? Yeah, exactly. Venture so, kind of friendly? Exactly, so we, we, we believe that instead of just selling tokens, we wanted our partners, initial round of investors, to believe in what we're doing. 
So we're, we have, we're having amazing partnerships worldwide. So we don't want to be a localized browser. We, we don't want to be the browser of China, the browser of Canada, the browser of the world. We think we're doing a global approach. So we have amazing partnerships worldwide. Yeah. In the next three months, you'll see amazing partnerships that are going to be aligned. We can't speak about them all right now, but you'll see yeah. it's going to be really amazing. And you're right, for security, why, again, why, why allow just a one small company, a startup, to really handle that, that, that responsibility when we could do it collectively? That's what blockchain is all about. Let's all work yeah. together to build something amazing and something great. Right? So, so as a blockchain um, uh, user or someone who, who I believe in blockchain, I have crypto. Yes. Am I going to have all this wallet functionality built in? And Anthony Diorio talks about the wallet interface. Yes. I'm sure wallet's got to be a feature of this browser, yes. right? I got a wallet. Yes. I got to have that. I got to have the ability to tap into the chain. So if, if, I, if you allow me to speak so about some of the uh, integrations into the browser, so we will have a multi currency wallet. Uh, we will have a DAP store. So that's going to allow all these amazing projects that are out. We'll be the gate gate gateway portal for all these companies within our browser. And then we're going to have great partnerships again. That that you will, next time we speak, you'll see the amazing yeah, partnerships come out. So I'm going to look for your for your viewers. You know. Yeah, I can't wait to get the updates. To me, I mean, I, I, it's kind of intoxicating for me because, like, you know, again, I'm a browser geek from the old world. But looking at what the possibilities are to reimagine the user experience yes. from the perspective of what's coming, yes. exchanges, instant access, trading, yes. data value. Rethinking that, and that's something that sounds like you guys have done. Yes. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I mean, our, our focus is to, to create a very flexible product that a lot of people can tap into, but at the same time have privacy and security be the forefront. Um, one of our partners that, again, we would love to mention this, but we have a number of press, press releases coming up, um, is looking to actually launch their ICO onto our browser because of the security aspect that the browser offers. Yeah, so I mean, we, I, we, Telegram we, has been just completely hacked. Twitter, fake addresses. I mean, I'll just get on Telegram saying, hey, I'm, I'm the company, send me all your email. Yeah. And a lot, of, a lot of it too is just common, simple practices that, that we could fix. And it's not very difficult, right? Yeah. Uh, a lot of Web 2.0 was just about monetizing all this value. And we're now giving the value back to you as a digital holder of the digital asset. Right. Okay, so for the folks watching, go to MetaLife, L-Y-F-E, not like life, but yes. like Life <laughs> yes. Kitchen if you're in California. Yes. MetaLife.io, check it out, download the browser. I'm going to get a demo at 4.30, I'll give you my review online later. Guys, thanks so much, Ben, great to see you, Samir. Thanks Pleasure. for coming out and telling us the news. We'll keep track of you guys, thanks for coming on. Appreciate Thank you, John, appreciate right. it. Thanks for having us here. Hot startup, changing the game. Again, the interfaces are a key thing, whether it's content, whether it's data, whether it's security, that's what it's all about. But it's got to be open, it's got to be open source, it's got to be open global. That's our mission here at theCUBE. Thanks for watching. Stay with us for more after this short break.